It's been more than a year since the tragedy in Parkland and the pain and grief still very real for those who survived the shooting and for the friends and families who lost loved ones. Now in recent weeks, two young lives are gone because of suicide. Those added tragedies are shedding a light on the fact that more needs to be done to help the community cope. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Coral Springs where a new wellness center just opened its doors. Ted. Yeah, Carly, uh, those two recent suicides prompted the Eagles Haven to open early. This is uh, the center right here in Coral Springs. It's at the Heron Bay Shopping Center. It was supposed to open at the end of April, but it was pushed up by a month to get that healing help to the community quickly. I think that it can really help a lot of students who come in here and it's not like, let's go to therapy. No, let's, you know, let's relax. Let's play some games. Let's, let's, you know, make new friends here. And Annabelle Claproot is a high school junior who transferred out of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas after the massacre that left 17 people dead. Now she's helping in the healing process. She's part of Eagles Haven, the center for wellness. Uh, I personally think that sometimes when there's activities, it can it can distract a student a little bit and it kind of helps bring out their emotions without like forcefully staring into their eyes and like telling them tell me what how you feel the idea behind eagles haven is to provide a safe space for students parents teachers and staff anyone impacted by the tragedy the leaders here stress the goal is simple uh, eagles haven tagline uh, is rediscovering wellness and restoring hope what they envision is a person walking in and having a chance to do whatever they want, saying that it's not therapy, it's wellness. So what we want to do here is just have fun and have a place where people can stop in and uh, we're going to do yoga and kickboxing and drumming and whatever the teens want um, and also uh, the families and the teachers. We if someone needs or wants therapy, Eagles Haven is also designed to be a one-stop shop, so to speak, to get the community connected with what they need. They're also catering to teachers. You know, they've been on the front line this whole time, and they're not, they're teachers. They're trained to educate, and now they have to be almost therapists themselves. And so who is supporting them? And Eagles Haven is open seven days a week. It's located in the Heron Bay Shopping Plaza, which is on Coral Ridge Drive, just south of the Sawgrass Expressway. Live in Coral Springs, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Ted. Now, there are many different ways that you can reach out for help. For the Suicide Prevention Lifeline, call 211, or you can text the letters FL to 741741. We have links to other resources on our website, cbsmiami.com.